Unit six, exercise one. If the carbon pressure falls, the oxygen masks will drop down. Reach up and pull a mask towards your face until the tubing is fully extended. Place the mask over your nose and mouth and breathe normally. The oxygen flow will start automatically. Pull the elastic over your head. Pull the elastic tab on either side of the mask to tighten the band. Remember to secure your own mask before helping others. Use your mask until further advised. Absolutely no smoking. Unit six, exercise five. Ladies and gentlemen, we're experiencing a drop in cabin air pressure. When your oxygen masks drop down, please use them while we descend to a lower altitude. Keep your masks on until we tell you to take them off. Once we get down to ten thousand feet, we'll make another announcement. We've leveled off at ten thousand feet. We're going to divert to Minsk. You may take off your oxygen masks now. There really is nothing to worry about, but please feel free to ask the cabin crew if you need any assistance before we get to Minsk. After landing, we'll make alternative arrangements for you to reach your destination. Unit six, exercise seven, one. Are we going to crash? Of course not. We'll be on the ground before you know it. Two. I feel fine. Why do I need oxygen? Because the air pressure in the cabin is too low. Three. What's happening? We're descending to a lower altitude. Four. When can we have something to eat? After we arrive in Minsk. Five. Why are we diverting? So we can land quickly. Six. I'm really scared. There's nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Seven. Why aren't we going on to Almaty? Because it's too far away. Eight. Why do we need to land? In order to fix the problem. Unit six, exercise twelve. One. Keep your mask on. Two. Stay calm. Three. Stay in your seat. Four. Keep your seat belt fastened. Five. Don't unfasten your seat belt. Six. Sit down. Seven. Breathe normally. Eight. Put your own mask on first. Nine. Hold on. Ten. Don't get up. Unit six, exercise eighteen. Sir, the captain has switched on the seatbelt sign. Could you go back to your seat, please? Yeah, no, I'm fine. Sir, you must return to your seat now. We're expecting turbulence. Don't worry, it'll be fine. Sir, I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you to stand. It could get really rough. Everyone must return to their seats and strap in. Look, I'm fine. I work on ships at sea, in really big waves. You know, don't worry, I won't fall over. So I doubt if your ship drops hundreds of feet without any warning. Now, sit down. Unit six, exercise twenty. Excuse me, madam, but the captain switched the fastened seatbelt sign on. Yeah, I know. I'm strapped in. 
Your son must be strapped in too. I can hold him on my lap. I'm sorry, madam. He's not secure. You must use the extension belt. Here, let me help you. Oh, for goodness sake. He'll scream the place down, you know. Madam, we're expecting severe turbulence very soon. Strap him in now. It's for his own safety. All right, all right. I am. Look. Thank you. Unit 6, Exercise 21. Excuse me, sir. Sir, could you remove your headphones, please? Huh? Sir, are you listening to the cockpit transmissions? What if I am? I'm sorry, but that's not allowed. You can't use this equipment on board the aircraft. Can you switch it off, please? OK, OK. What's the problem? There, it's off now. Happy? Thank you, sir. Please make sure it stays off for the rest of the flight. <laughs> Sir, your radio is on again. So? Sir, you must switch it off and stop using it. VHF radios can't be used on the aircraft. I suggest you put the headphones down and pass me the microphone. And if I don't? Sir, this incident has been reported to the flight deck. I strongly advise you to give me the radio. If you do not cooperate, this will be a matter for the authorities. You can't do that. Sir, I assure you I can. Now, please give me the radio. The captain will keep it on the flight deck for the rest of the flight. <sighs> OK, OK. You haven't heard the last of this. I'll tell